There is James Denton. So, you stepped to the microphone to do Superman for the first time. A little nervous? I was. I wore my tights. I was completely <laughs> prepared. Um, I was very nervous, yeah, because uh, I was sort of surprised they asked me because I had never done voice work before. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's such an iconic character, and uh, you don't want to let people down. It was a very anticipated uh, DVD because of the book. And um, yeah, I was a little bit nervous, which is weird for me because normally you just go do your thing and you're very confident. But this was a uh, this was daunting. Yeah, and what kind of direction did you get from Andrea? Because I know she works really well with the, the you guys. The most brilliant and best in the world. I mean, she's just, Andrea's a genius. And thank God um, she was there because uh, she, she was always on the other side of the glass going, okay, we got to move on. And I just had to trust her and, and say, believe her. And, and I knew that she wasn't happy. We'd keep doing it until she got it right. Like, she was really helpful and made it very, not just bearable, but pretty fun. And were you guys doing your voices by yourselves or were you doing with the other actors? I'm sorry? Were you doing the voices by yourself? Or did, were the other actors there? I guess it's because we're all on shows. Nobody could get there yeah. together. Um, it was tough getting my two days work in because of Housewives, and of course everybody is on a show. I think so. It, we never. I've never met any of the actors. On <laughs> so tonight will be kind of fun for me. So how was it though? Because you're acting kind of against air. I mean, you're just kind of thinking. That's another way where you had to trust Andrea because you just, you know, she would read the lines, she would read the other characters in the scene, and she's a fantastic actor. I don't know why she's not acting. Uh, so she was Lex, or she was Lois, and she's reading the scene with me. Um, and you, you play it that way. So again, a lot of the pressure is on her, and she was great. Okay, and Housewives, crazy as ever. What? On, I believe we're seven years in. I know. I Can know. you tease me anything coming up? Um, gosh, you know, we're rolling into the end of the year. So uh, right now, the whole you know, got, I'm trying to think what's going on. Susan trying to get a kidney. And, uh, right. You know, we got the kid in rehab. A typical year on Housewives. Um, and you know what? The season finale is not set because we don't know if we're coming back. I mean, the network has a space for us and wants us back. They haven't worked out deals with the women. Right. So uh, nobody knows what's coming up because they don't know if they're writing a season finale or a series finale. Right. So we're all sort of waiting to hear it too. Is there anything that they have not done on the show with your character that you'd like them to do? We've covered it all. You know, <laughs> coma, drug addiction, I've been run over by a car, I've yeah. killed people, I've nearly been killed, uh, I've been with three women on the street. I mean, it's been a pretty good run. So yeah, I think we've got to run out of stuff to do. Okay. Where can people find out about your band and where you guys are playing? Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Band from TV. Dot org. Okay. Uh, every dollar goes to charity. Uh, it's been really fun. It's Hugh Laurie and Jesse Spencer from House, and uh, Greg Grunberg and Adrian Pazdar from Heroes, mm -hmm. Scott Grimes from ER, Bob Guinea, The Bachelor. Nice. Uh, yeah, we have a great time, and it's, uh, we play as much as we can, and you know, we've raised as much money for charity, and it's been great. So, manfromtv.org, and we got a couple of CDs and DVD stuff that uh, people can buy for a uh, good cost. Okay. Thanks so much, James.